I hope the glare isn't too terrible, but anyway, it's almost impossible with this goddamn skylight to uh, do anything. And I've been sick for about the past week with a sinus infection. And besides that, there hasn't been a whole lot of stuff even to comment on. I know there was the Bette Midler and whatever that other person's name was. And they backtracked somewhat or completely uh, when they were critical about the erasure of, lang of women from the English language and so forth. All the tranny crowd got all upset. You know, women don't have any goddamn guts. I swear to God. I swear to God they're just shitless and gutless. And, you know, it, it just points to the damned evil that is sex roles. That are sex roles. Gender, so-called. It's just evil. That women are afraid to say anything for fear of being raped or killed or, or having their jobs taken away. Every goddamn fucking excuse. Then to call these people out for what they are. Anyway. Uh, speaking of which, everybody's heard, and I think I talked about it, about the 10-year-old... Uh, girl that was raped and she couldn't get an abortion in Ohio because they had put in like a trigger law saying that six weeks was the the maximum length a, a woman could get an abortion and she was like a couple of days after that cutoff so she had to go to Indiana to get the abortion performed and the thing of it is uh, now the insinuation is by one Glenn Kessler, who's with the Washington Post and does a fact check column or something, he's insinuating the thing is a hoax because there's only one source. He's he's getting his panties are in a wad because uh, there she didn't provide identifying information either about the victim, the perpetrator, where this happened, who the, who the doctor was who performed it, and so on and so on and so on, insinuating the whole damn thing's a hoax. Well, why would it be a hoax? Why would it be a hoax? Ten-year-old girls can get pregnant and do. Hate to break it to you, Glenn. They do. And age nine to about 14, 13, 14, is typical for girls to hit puberty and have periods. It's gotten earlier than it was in the past. Now, like I was 14 and a half when I, got, when I uh, first started it, right before I entered high school. So I was a little bit later, but I had perfectly normal cycles and stuff till I hit, hit the change. I never had problems with it. So, and my niece, I think, was about 10 years old when she had hers. Maybe 11. So I was older uh, when I had. And uh, there's like four years difference between our ages. But this Glenn guy insinuates that this thing was made up because this woman who uh, was the source, Caitlin Bernard, who's, a, who's an OBGYN from Indianapolis, she said a doctor contacted her about the case uh, because she's an abortion activist. So that means that she's not reputable. The, the, the Ten-year-old girls never get pregnant. Ten-year-old girls never get abortions. Ten-year-olds never never have this. And, and, and their rapes are always reported. Especially incest. They're always reported. No, they're not. They're very low re reporting. Well, well, they're required. You don't know that they did. You don't know any of it, stupid. You don't know any of it. You don't know the veracity of it. But see, this is because Biden mentioned it. That old Glenn had to get up there. He found an opening. Well, we're going to see if we can debunk it. They couldn't debunk it. Neither could Snopes, which is the site that's been wrong on occasion. So neither... Neither, neither source can confirm it, but they can't deny it either. See, that's the flip side. But I hate to break it to old Glenn, who's had a controversy over the years, because he, uh, 
he's been crit he's been criticized that he gets up he gets pissed off when people come up with stories uh let's see oh geez but he's been criticized for applying brazenly bizarre specific standards to statements and sometimes calling obviously true statements misleading if he doesn't like what they imply. Well, that's what he's doing here. So he doesn't like what Biden said. He can't confirm that the 10-year-old had the abortion or was even pregnant or if they're or if 10-year-olds are even capable of it, right? So therefore, he's he's mad, he's upset, and so he's deciding as fairness to attack a democrat 10 times as hard as a republican he's going to say well biden's just senile and he doesn't know what he's talking about and this story is a hoax because it because the the source of the story is an abortion activist now i'm going to i wish this this know it all who doesn't know shit about biology that he looked up the case of Lena Medina. Lena Medina is still alive. She's going to be 89 in September. But she was the woman who at five years of age got pregnant and the father has never been identified. Initially her father was suspected but he they had no evidence to say her father was the father. She got pregnant and had the baby. And the baby was told the truth about the parentage when he was 10 years of age. And that is a fact. This was not made up. She was the youngest recorded mother in, the his in history, in medical history. She uh, went through uh, precocious puberty at eight months of age. And back then they had no treatments for this. Nowadays, they have puberty blockers. That's what puberty, puberty blockers are supposed to be for. It's for cases like this. But they're being used on young people who have undergone or will undergo healthy puberty and their bodies are being destroyed. But puberty blockers are supposed to be for cases like this. So she had, so she got pregnant and the baby was basically raised like her brother. They did tell the truth of the, of the matter when the boy was 10 years of age. And unfortunately, he was healthy, but he died of a bone marrow disease at the age of 40 in 1979. And interestingly, this woman didn't get married until she was in her 30s. And she had her second son in 1972, so she was like 38 years of age or 39 years of age and to my knowledge he's still alive but she gives no interviews anything like this but she um, was her case was true so I suggest a little Glenny boy to look up precocious puberty and in fact there's a list there there is a list of youngest birth mothers And 10 years of age is a lot more common. There's 10. There's a whole slew of birth mothers. They actually gave birth. These aren't ones that had abortions. But there's lots and lots of them. Oodles and oodles of cases. But of course, the great majority of the pregnancies, they're terminated. Because they're typically they're a result of incest or... Well, it's always molestation. It's always molestation. Okay, so it's rape. But not all of these are reported. So shame on little Glenny boy for getting on there and making insinuations about what about this case. And until there's proof that it's a hoax, we have to say that it likely happened because it does happen. This stuff does happen. So it's not like the first case in medical history that this has happened. That they get pregnant. The 10 year olds can get pregnant. Anyway, so that's kind of all I have to say about that. I'll have that interview too with the Dr. Caitlin Bernard. And that was on um, 
what's his face? Uh, Lawrence O'Donnell the other day. So I'll put that interview on there. But, um, yeah, and then there was also that damn case of the, and it's been talked about by other people that a, yet another male cheater um, denied a female her victory. And that was a 29-year-old man. Can you believe it? Now are they starting to identify as young girls to become a skateboarding champion? Holy shit. Holy shit. And now I was, the other day, and this is all rambly, the other day I was watching Sheila Jeffries, and she was talking about um, nappy. You know, these nappy fetishes. And how now they want to make that something that they can't control. See how they did? They took the gay lesbian rhetoric or claim that it's innate, that their sexuality is innate. And now the cross-dressers and transvestites and the uh, pedophiles, child molesters, and you've got now these nappy dudes. They're all going around claiming that they can't help it. That it's, that it's inborn, so they should have legal protection. See what the hell this is? Good Lord, sexual kinks. Now, I get it with gays and lesbians. I get it. I totally get it, because that, that was horrible, the discrimination they went through and the crap they went through. And they're not trying to step on the rights of other people. But these others are just trying to make their kinks, their sexual kinks, a protected category. Meanwhile, women are thrown to the goddamn wolves. I shouldn't be doing this. This damn thing reflects. Um, but they're thrown into, thrown to the wolves. So anyway, that's all I have to say. We'll find out if this case is true or if old Glenn boy, Glenny boy here, uh, is correct that it that it it is insinuation. Well, it can't be confirmed, but it can't be denied. Uh, that this happened. We'll see. But he's obviously got it in for Joe Biden anyway. So that's all.